Hammer and Leroy McHale. Stepping in with him, Hammer, last minute replacement, Buddy Hadara. Well, Buddy Hadara, he's got nothing to lose, Michael. Everything to gain and nothing to lose. All he has to do is put up a good showing against uh, the favourite Ronnie Sifu, and he could be on his way. He's been guaranteed a bit of a bout over in Japan in any case, just for stepping in, just for taking the challenge. And uh, you've got to dip your lid to this man because uh, he's stepping in unprepared, pretty much. talk about a fighter with champion pedigree and you talk about New Zealand's heavyweight star Ron Sifo, the brother of K1 superstar Ray Sifo. Tonight is Ron's big chance to book his ticket to Japan. The only question is, will he live up to his status as the favourite in tonight's event? Well, Mark the Hammer, a lot of people tipping this man to take it all out here tonight, Ron Sifo. Well, Sifo's super confident. He's chasing up the big bucks. It's going to be interesting to see whether he can back it in. But, uh... He's going to have to uh, overcome Fadi Hadara to start with. The final match now opening qualifying and introducing first in this three round, three minute round contest from the blue corner as a last minute call up. He weighs in at 92.1 kilograms from the Tarek Solak Braveheart Academy right here in Victoria, Fadi Hadara. His opponent from the red corner, the brother of K1 superstar Ray Sifu, all the way from New Zealand, a former world amateur champion and current intercontinental heavyweight champion, weighing at 104.5 kilos and standing six foot one, the favorite Ray Sifu. The third man inside the ring, Mr. Ray Buma. Ronnie, should I say, Ron Sifu. Third man inside the ring, Mr. Malcolm Bulmer. Well, all is in readiness for the final of our quarterfinals. Fadi Hadara, the last minute replacement from the Tarak Solak Braveheart Academy against the favourite, Ron Sifo. Of course, Sifo, the only man in this lineup who has had K1 heavyweight experience. Last year, he went four rounds against Mike Bernardo from South Africa before being stopped. And Bernardo himself said that Sifo stood up to blows that have put other K1 opponents down and out. I'll tell you what, uh, seeing Round physically one. Bernardo over in Japan in November, the man has a head the size of a Volkswagen, Michael. <laughs> he is one big customer, so uh, Ronnie Sifu did well to get in uh, with Bernardo. And uh, I just hope that Fadi Hadara could give it a bit of a shake here. Sifo ties up Fadi Hadara early on. Hadara has been promised a fight in Japan for stepping in as a last minute replacement. He was called only two hours before the commencement of tonight's tournament. Here comes Sifo smoking with his hands. Hadara an overhand right. I'll tell you what, Hamid, if Fadi Hadara could pull off an upset, it'd be one of the biggest upsets in heavyweight kickboxing history in this country. Yeah, if he can, I very much doubt it. But looking at Sifo, he knows he's got to get rid of Hadara very quickly to keep himself nice and fresh because now he's going to have to come up against Mark Hunt, who we just saw. And uh, Hunt is, is a very tough customer indeed. And Sifu's going to want to get rid of Hadara very quickly. Here comes Sifu, just sticking out that big right hand. Fadi Hadara all tied up. Oh, Works Hadara's, a short right to the side of the head. Hadara's just not up to this task. Hadara really out of his class. But you've got to take your hat off to the young man. Nevertheless, stepping into an event like this on last minute notice, he has done uh, Tarek Solak and K1 a big favour. Ron Sifo doing it easily at the moment in the first round, just working off on him. Shooting off like he's working a punching bag. You can see Tarek Solak ringside just urging Hadara to keep his hands up and keep strong as everyone is here because we want to see Sifu get tested a little bit in this uh, first round. Fadi Hadara just looks at Sifu and says, come on, New Zealand boys, that all you've got for me. They call you the favourite. Hadara sticks out the front kick on the big right hand. Sifu not phased by anything Hadara has thrown so far. Big leg kick to the lead leg there from Sifu. Nice inside leg kick there from Fadi Hadara, holding onto the ropes. Malcolm Buller says, hop off the ropes, buddy. Big overhand right there from Ron Sifu, just misses with the follow-up. 
I think if anything, it's going to be just the fitness aspect that's going to uh, phase uh, uh, Hadara here. He just hasn't trained up for this. But I tell you what, he's got the heart. He's got the brave heart, Michael. He has taken a lot of knocks so far. Fatty Hadara, and he's still standing. Nice trade of leg kicks. Hadara just sticks out the front kick. He's dropping his hands dangerously low, though, Hadara, and that's just going to give Sifu uh, time to unload. He wants to keep his hands up. Hadara. What, Hadara is showing no respect whatsoever for Ron Sifu, Hammer. Inside leg kick from Hadara. Sifu just ties him up, trying to work the knee to the left rib cage. Sifu actually looking a little, starting to breathe a little heavy, looking a little tired. Surprising for someone who's coming into this event as the big favourite. Hadara but I think there's a, there's a reprieve. Sifu should have just jumped on Hadara there, just let him get away and said, all right, boy, I'll, uh, I'll just let you breathe it up there for a minute and I'll finish you off in a, in a little while. But uh, Sifu is just waiting to let the big shot go. Nice round kick off the right leg there from Ron Sifo to the ribs. Hadara trying to line up the good night Irene right hand. There it is, the end of the first round of action. Fadi Hadara, the last minute call up, has lasted one round with the favourite. I'll tell you what, Ronnie Sifu, he's looking a little bit tired, Michael. He's looking a little bit uh, like he's working out there. And now that's not what we expected against the Fadi Hadara. Fadi Hadara, we thought, would be a, a quick takeoff for, uh, for Sifu, but Sifu's actually having to work. Oh, well, mate, stay with me, stay with me. Here we see Sifu just trading leg kicks and again went to chop the leg. Hadara just too quick, moved out of the way, come back with a combo of his own, missed with the hands, and that's a reprieve I, I spoke about. He just let uh, Fadara back off. But uh, Sifu should be unloading, should be going upstairs. You see him stagger against the ropes there, Sifu. That's a sign of someone who is perhaps a little tired. Seconds down, round number two. Instructions there in the corner of Fadi Hadara from the Prince of Mia well, and Prince, Leroy. The Prince of an inexperienced fighter, and he's given Hadara the best advice. As soon as he comes close, lock him up. That's that's great advice there from the Prince of Mia and the Braveheart boys. Fadi Hadara certainly has the height and reach advantage. Just sticks out that long left leg. Trying to work the dummy leg kick come over the top of the big right hand. That's a slip. He caught Sifu. That's a slip from Sifu. I tell you what, Hammer, the right hand caught him on the jaw, but then the slip from Ron Sifu. Fadi Hadara. He's uh, cooking up a storm here in Santa Rita. Hadara, I tell you what, Michael, he's putting up a great show. Ron Sifu might have been taking Fadi Hadara a little bit too lightly, folks. Hadara is putting up a contest. Well, I tell you what, Michael, if uh, Nelson Toyoni might have uh, got through, apart from his medical problem, which... Uh, took him out of this event, I reckon Ronnie would have had a, a, bit, of a, a bit of trouble getting through. Oh, right there again! Beautiful timing from Fadi Hadara! He just cut the leg underneath Ron Sifo, and Malcolm Buller applying a count hammer. We could be in for an upset. I'll tell you what, Sifo's got to want to finish this up, because he is in danger land now. This is unbelievable, folks. Fadi Hadara looking for the goodnight Irene right hand, goes for the inside leg kick. Could it be a true Rocky story from Fadi Hadara? I tell you what, it doesn't get any closer than this. Fadi Hadara just smiles at him. Says, come on, Ron. Is that all you've got for me? Ron Sifo looks towards Ray Sifu, big brother and K1 superstar in the corner, and says, Ray, I'm having trouble putting him away. It's just looking a little bit flat there, Sifu. He's, he's not firing as well as I thought he would. I thought he'd, uh, he'd come out and just do away with Hadara in the first round and keep himself nice and fresh, but he's not. He certainly looks like he's working. He's breathing hard. He's biting down on that mouth guard. He's having a bit of trouble. Two minutes down here in the second round of action. Fadi Hadara, the last-minute replacement against the favourite Ron Sifo, and it's been Fadi Hadara so far in this round. I'll tell you Sifo what, now tying him up and working the knee. Well, here comes Sifu now, modelling it a little bit premature and giving the round to Hadara. Well, you've got to give it to him so far, having with the knockdown. Uh, yeah, but I, I would, I'd say, I'd call it even, and it's up for the taking, and here comes Ronnie Sifu trying to work the knees now, and this is where he had the advantage over Hadara with the knee strikes. Hadara sticking the leg out to, to uh, negate... The, Big right uh, hand! Big right hand from Hadara! Ron Sifu ties it up in the neutral corner here, won't let Hadara escape! He's got to get that. There's the knee to the head. Hadara's going to go here if he doesn't keep himself upright. Another big right hand there from Hadara, showing a lot of heart. Ron Sifu just picking him apart. Methodically in centre ring. Hadara sustaining an inside leg kick. Hadara might have spent all his pennies. He's out of breath. I 
I think it's a fitness thing now for Hidara because certainly his heart is not lacking. He has a big heart, this man. Into the final seconds of the second round, Fadi Hadara against the favourite. Fadi Hadara won't even come out of the corner. A cheeky Hadara resting in the wide corner. Marked out the front him. kick. We've got a fight. I tell you what, contest. he is showing no respect, Hadara. And that's all you've got to do. You've got to get in there and give it a red hot shake. Ray that's Supo nice having super. some heated words there with Malcolm Bullnut. The reason being, Hadara holding onto the ropes while he kicked at, uh, at Ronnie. He's not allowed to do that. He's, uh, he was hanging onto the ropes, being quite cheeky there. How you feel? You're fit in this, brother. You know you are. It's just all the hype in there. That's what it is. Okay, you're fit in there. I know you are. Come on, here. That's it. That's it. Okay. Ron. Ron, I want you to listen to me. One thing. If you're going to wait the knees, when you have it, step back slowly, short left hook. Let's see it. Bah, bah, straight away. Okay? Step back slightly. Absolutely. Short left to the side. Even if you turn up, Seconds the down. Don't let her hold the rope. Okay. Go away, baby. Well, some instruction the there from Big Brother Ray Sifo as Malcolm Buller warns Buddy Hadara not to hold the ropes. Can Buddy Hadara pull up a huge upset? Or will Ron Sifo deliver the goods and stand himself as the favourite in this tournament? The oh. third and final round underway. As Ray was saying to Ron, you're fitter than this. Oh, I'd like to think he was because if he's going to go forward and advance through to the uh, quarterfinals it's, and indeed to the final, he has to be a lot fitter than this. Because I can tell you what, Phil Fagan, he is fit. Everybody thought that Ron Sifo would smoke Buddy Hadara inside one round. It is now in the third round of action. Buddy Hadara doesn't look like he's got much pepper left in him. Well, he's obviously he's lacking uh, fight fitness, Hadara, and uh, he's just holding in, holding on in there with pure heart. Chopping leg kick there from Ron Sifo. Buddy Hadara finds the canvas. That was a slip. Bulma going to call it a slip. Hadara needs to hold his hands up. Guts are plenty from Hadara. There's a pork right hand. Buddy Hadara fighting on intestinal fortitude. The last ounces of energy. He puts Ron Sifo down. Just a slip, says Malcolm Bulma. I'll tell you what, the crowd right on the edge of their seats and a lot of intensity if Sifo goes down again. He keeps trying that pork right hand. That's the most used and abused technique <laughs> <laughs> around lately, that pork right hand. Of course, the made famous by Slandham, Sam Greco, right. and he knocked out Simon Sweet from New Zealand. Fadi Hadara hoping to knock out another New Zealander with it. Both fight, these fighters, both of them looking very tired now into this third round. I'm surprised. I thought uh, Sifu would be a lot more fitter, a lot sharper, but he's having, he's doing it the hard way, Mark. There's no other way for me to put it. Definitely, Hammer. Sifu hasn't cemented himself as the favourite in my eyes, not with this fight. Comes over the top of a succession of right hands. He hasn't thrown that left hook that his brother called for him to throw. Off, off the hip, whipping that left hook. That was uh, Ray Sifu's advice, and Ronnie just not listening. He's got to whip in that left hook, because uh, that's going to be a, have a bit of power behind it. But he's, he's just having a lot of trouble dealing with Hadara at the moment, Sifu. Two minutes down in the third and final round of action. Fadi Hadara against the favourite Ron Sifo. Sifo ties him up, and it looks like Sifo now sucks for energy. Him with the short left hook, just not enough mustard behind it to do any real damage. He's not finishing with his hand, Sifu. He tends to go into the grapple. That's it. He should have just finished him with hand work there. He had Adara in trouble. He could have unloaded. Adara had his hands well down, and Sifu tended to grapple. No reason for it then. Here comes the fighting Hadara. Fatty Hadara. He wants to put him away. Can he do it inside the final 30 seconds? A war we have seen. Some surprise looks ringside at the efforts of Fadi Hadara. Ron Sifo definitely not living, living up to his favourite status. A couple of knees to the head. Hadara just walks away from trouble, just gets out of dodge. Step up jab there from Sifo. I'll tell you what, right Michael, hand. win, lose, a draw for Hadara. Standing ovation, I reckon, is in order because he has done an absolutely courageous effort to last the three rounds. No preparation. He's come in here, taken on the favourite. Fadi Hadara, what a good effort. Fadi Hadara right in front of K1, President Master Ishii, and Ishii with a big smile on his face. He likes what he sees. Well, certainly he'll give himself a bit of a trip to Japan out of that. There's the standing sure. ovation you talked about, Hammer. That was worthy, well worthy of the applause that he got, Hadara. What a, what a big effort from that man.
Here we see Hadara just glancing out with the front leg. Sifu punching from the hip rather than from the head. Looking tired. I think that's that's uh, Ronnie's problem. He really is not fit enough to uh, to put away Fadara quickly. But this one's going to the judges. It's the first fight of the night that we're going to see a decision made on. And that in itself is of interest, Michael. Very much so. One knockdown in the fight to Fadi Hadara in the second round. Ray Sifo talking to brother Ron in the corner, I'm sure, having some heated words. Let's look at the action again, Hammer. I'd say with the knee strikes, there you see the knee strikes, they're going to have to score well, although they were taken on the gloves. They're non-scoring. The knees that he did get in will score highly for uh, Sifu, and that could probably be enough to give him the victory. But uh, Hadara, I tell you what, he used his front leg very, very well indeed, timed it perfectly, swept out uh, Ronnie a couple of times off the grapple, and uh, Hadara did a great job there. But uh, Ronnie Sifu probably just outpointed him, I'd say. But uh, nevertheless, a close one all the way. Let's go to Andy Raymond with the decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this one decided by the judges. Your winner from the red corner, Ron Sifu. Well, there you have it, a victory to Ron Sifu from New Zealand. He progresses into the semi-final with a showdown with Mark Hunt. I'll tell you what. I'd, I'd almost call for an upset unless Sifu really uh, comes back firing. Hunt is uh, looking fitter with the, the work that Alex Tui's done on him and he's got a chin and a half. I don't think Sifu's got the power to put away Mark Hunt, so he's going to really have to work.